Uh, another view of the Alpine. Let's head over there and see what we have there. But this is a souvenir shop, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna be undecided here, right or left. Let's cross and walk to the left. It's now the time to do how safe Switzerland is. Probably not. Let's see, we got more hotels or apartments. If I'm rich or I have the time or the means, let's get away from this bus. I might fancy, I might fancy buying apartments here. But that would be several years down the road. We have a shop says Zurich there. But yeah, I guess wooden houses like this always amazes me. With all the snow on the streets here. We're about five minutes in this clip. Let's continue exploring Grindelwald. And then I'll need to run back to my bus because all my stuffs are in there. But yeah, I'm having a huge, I'm having a fun time here in Grindelwald, in Switzerland overall. Exploring the town, just walking across the street here, going to a small town like Grindelwald and not going to major town like Zurich and Bern because I do not like touristy stuff. I mean, I go up to the, to the tallest place in Europe that's touristy, but I like to go to small town like this because you really get to see the, the way people live here, the true way that people live when they're when they're really comfortable in their habitat. But let's cross the street because this view is gorgeous from here as well. There's no more clouds left in the sky. It's all amazing. People staying in those little huts down there. Not little, something like this, but made of wood. And look at these wooden houses. Amazing, amazing place here. King to the other side now. There's nothing down there. And it's getting further and further away from my bus. And I want to explore the other part of... Um, I just forgot the name of this town. Grindelwald. Yeah. <laughs> Some alleyway, but I want to explore a different part of this town, the other side. I, ma I made a left just now, I want to make a right. Chalet Conal Bay, 1930, I guess it is built in 1930 here. Switzerland has a rich history. Um, it dates back all the way to the 1200s, if I'm not mistaken. Amazing underground garage. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun here, guys. Exploring Switzerland. Private keep away. Says do not vlog in here. Yeah, I was just there. I made a left. And now I'm going straight to make a right. Might actually go up there. It'll be quieter to film. But I want to check out what's in front there. So, is Switzerland safe? I've walked around the streets of um, Grindelwald. I've walked around the streets of Lucerne. And I've been to many, many different towns across on the way from Italy to Lucerne. It is safe. It is safe. And I do know this for a fact because Switzerland is actually one of the most safest country in Europe comparing it to Milan. I've never been harassed here. I've never had people walk up to me and trying to 
scam me with the friendship thingy and then asking me for 20 euros. I've never had that experience here. This is a little cottage here. Hotel. Schemberghof. It sounds like German to me when I say it like that. But I think this is a German speaking part of We have Alpine Resort here, I guess. And now I'm on the other side of Brindewald. Yeah, I like to travel across Europe like this. And I've traveled across Southeast Asia, Australia many times like this, where I would do a road trip to a small town and walk along the alleyway, do something that not a lot of tourists want to do, or tourists deems unsafe. Well, here I am, walking here in the streets of Grindelwald, a small town in a rather quiet district. But, oh, I just saw the light peeping through the top of that mountain there. Gorgeous. It demands for photography. But, I'm walking past by the Derby Hotel that I was just at, just now. And, we're getting into more and more towards uh, more touristy kind. So let's give the camera a break and let's find some quieter place. All right, so I'm at the back alley here, as expected, and the sunlight is dissipating fast. Let's walk along this back alley here. Hotel Central, Hotel Walter, I guess. Yeah, green the wall. Let's see here, let's test it. Is it really safe to walk the streets of green the wall here? With nothing but my camera, two cameras. We have wooden houses, a hotel, which looks amazing. Green the walls first, and many alpine resort here. I'm actually quite tired. I've been walking from that end to this end, which is quite a distance. But yeah, let's keep on exploring. Green the wall. Oh, I'm making an elevation here. And as the sun's going down, you can probably tell due to the change. But the Sony camera is really good in low light. So you might not be able to on second thought. But in any way, it's actually quite dark here. It's getting dark. It is the equivalent of about half past seven here in Singapore on a normal day. Half past seven, seven, seven fifteen. But I'm making an ascent here because I want to check out that Hotel Eppenhof. And look at that landscape behind and it is actually expensive to stay here in this alpine resort I stayed in the alpine resort in Threadbo which is just at the foot of Mount Kuziosko it is about the cheapest one that you can get is about 380 Australian dollars and down here the price is outrageous it is expensive Especially in peak season, you'll never be able to. There are dogs. But, yeah. I don't want to get beaten by dogs, guys. So I'm turning back. And that's a different property there. When dogs are barking like that, and when they're close to you, not a good sign. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to get beaten by dogs. So let's find a different alleyway then. The one that doesn't have dogs. I'm not afraid of dogs. By the way, maybe I am. But no, I'm not afraid of dogs. I just don't want their saliva to be all over me when they bite. because I'm a Muslim. 
and it's tedious. You gotta find, you gotta do your stuff. I've been chased by dogs before. Once when I was younger. It's not a good experience though. Let's try and go up. Hello. Hello. Let's try and go up here and see what we got. Hotel Crans. Are there more docks here? Hopefully not. But yeah. It seems like Hotel Sonberg looks amazing as well. This is probably a hotel, I don't want to speak too loud. But I guess the last light, hopefully we can see the last light here in... I forgot the name of this place. In this town, is about to dissipate. So, on that note, I'm going to say goodbye. This will be my last day in Switzerland. For this time around because tomorrow I want to go to a different part of Europe about four minutes in my bus will leave in five minutes probably but yeah Swiss people in general they're nice they're friendly and so if you want to go to Switzerland on a budget it can be done but just know that prices of food, hotels, even hostel, be prepared to spend about 40 to 45 and above on hostel, probably about $500 on an alpine resort during peak season. And yeah, on that note, in this back alley, of randomness in I forgot the name of the place I know I've mentioned it a million times in this video Green the wall came back to me I'm gonna sign off from Switzerland here I'll see you on my next video like and subscribe and thanks so much for watching my YouTube videos you guys I make them for myself and see ya das Vidanya.